Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Nidra time. And today we are going to do a rainbow Nidra because we freaking can. <laughs> so I want you to sit back, relax, get yourself nice and comfy, create a little Nidra nest where your body is supported by pillows or blankets. If you need to prop it up in any other way, please do so. And remember, Nidra doesn't have to be done lying down. Lying down doesn't work for all of us very well. If you feel more comfortable sitting up or reclined in another way, honor your body, honor its needs. Our bodies are here to be celebrated, so let's make sure we take care of them. Once you get settled, begin to be aware of your breath. The rise and fall of the inhale and of the exhale. Inviting a sense of curiosity without obligation. No need to have the deepest breath or the perfect yogic breath. <laughs> Just notice how your body receives and releases breath all on its own. Noticing the other sensations that are present in this moment. Physical sensations, touch, sound, Taste, textures, even if your eyes are closed, the light behind the eyes, or perhaps you feel more comfortable leaving the eyes mostly lowered with a soft gaze. This is your practice and it's perfect just as it is. Beginning to notice as well emotions that are present. Shifting away from the idea of good or bad emotions, right or wrong. Just sitting with whatever rises up to meet you in this moment. And then begin to bring to mind the idea of a rainbow. And often when we think of rainbows, they're more visual than anything. But imagine you could have a sense of a rainbow. The sound or the smell. <laughs> Even Skittles, right? Taste the rainbow. <laughs> Just noticing what shows up for you when you think of this rainbow energy. Is there a shift to emotions? To sensations? To breath? Just noticing. Again, without attachment. And as we bring to mind the idea of a rainbow, be a little curious about what associations you have. Maybe there's one, maybe there are many. Rainbows can bring to mind the idea of community, of liberation, of abundance, of promises kept, of hope and journeys. And maybe for you, something else is present. Just noticing what leaps out of your heart in this moment. And beginning to settle once more into the space, letting this idea of your own rainbow wash over you. Also notice what colors are present. It doesn't have to be orgy biv. Your rainbow could have nine colors or simply three. Honoring your personal experience. Stepping away from expectation, always. And as we begin to bring this rainbow energy to mind, maybe there's a bit of sparkle as well. Maybe it feels comforting and calm. And as we notice, we're going to begin to journey through the body. Perhaps as you journey, some colors come to mind for you. Perhaps you're dancing across a rainbow or there's a bifrost bridge. Connecting you to far off lands, galaxies, and time. Again, curiosity serves you well here. So 
let's begin by focusing at the base of the spine. Imagine we could take some steps up the spine itself, one at a time, as though we're stepping across rocks, perhaps brightly colored, perhaps not. And imagining you can spread your awareness into the muscles around the spine. Perhaps they're like wings, perhaps you just feel yourself reaching out like roots. Notice. Moving your awareness to the mid back, the muscles, the bones, the upper back, the shoulder blades, the spot between the shoulder blades as though it could shine a little brighter, the tendons in that upper back, the tops of the shoulders, we hold so much here. So just noticing what's present here in this moment perhaps inviting a little color, can also create space for ease. Allowing your awareness to move up through the nape of the neck, the back of the neck to the base of the head. Feeling into your scalp as though colors could be present throughout the scalp itself. Spreading around. And perhaps your rainbow isn't that semicircle shape, perhaps it moves in an oval or in a way that is limitless. Once more, just noticing, bringing awareness to the ears and the skin beneath the ears, around to the back of the ears and just on top, up through the head, the back of the head, the top of the head, and imagining a bit of shine just above the crown of the head. Moving your awareness down to the forehead, the eyebrows, the temples and the eyelids, the eyeballs and the eyelashes, and the skin beneath the eyes. Loving this, connecting with these different parts of our body. Releasing expectation and just noticing what colors, what senses are present. Moving awareness to the cheeks and the jaw bones, the tip of the chin, and up to that spot, not between the eyebrows, but just above. And then down through the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, the lower lip and the upper lip, the nostrils left and right, the upper teeth and the lower teeth, the roof of the mouth, and the tongue resting in the mouth. Bring your awareness now down through the neck once more, down through the tops of the shoulders to the shoulder joints themselves. The upper arms and the lower arms, the elbows and the wrists, the backs of the hands and the palms of the hands and the lines spreading across the hands. Again, as though there is a bifrost or a bridge. So many colors, so many sensations. Moving up through the fingertips as though the base of the fingers could sprout up through the fingers themselves and shining a light just past the fingertips. Pinkies and ring fingers, middle, pointer, and thumbs, and even the spaces between the fingers light up. Bringing your awareness back up through the arms, the wholeness of the arms to the armpits and the collarbones and the space between the collarbones, as though there's another light here shining. Notice its twinkle. Moving your awareness down through the rib cage, the skin, the tendons, the lungs within the rib cage, to the sternum, and that spot in the middle of the sternum. Is there a color living here? Just notice. And perhaps it's not the color that you expect. So just honor that too. Maybe other things arise as you notice the heart space. Awareness of breath, of pulse, of the heart beating. Or maybe there's even images or words or phrases that come to mind. Maybe your heart has a language all its own in this moment. Just noticing what is present 
take a breath here and then as you release moving your awareness down through the solar plexus the sides of the waist the belly upper and lower the belly button the gut within the belly down through the abdomen in the pelvic bowl noticing any organs that are present here the skin the tissue and the hips the tops of the legs and the lower legs the knees and the ankles the heels and the outer edges of the feet the inner arches the soles of the feet and all the lines and webbing in the feet your own path moving through this world the base of the toes moving up through the bases of the toes all the way to the toe tips themselves just like we did with the fingers and the spaces between feeling that shine as a light can move out through the ends of your fingers and your toes feeling into the powerful being that you are in this moment perhaps there's even light around you it doesn't have to be an aura but just Noticing your shine and allowing it to shine fully. Sometimes when we notice it, we we try to turn on a dimmer, scaling it back because the world has taught us not to shine too brightly. But in this moment, take up the fullness of your experience and even that space around you that is fully you, that connects with your energy, with your essence. And just notice how this course is through you, how you connect with this experience. The awen that flows through you in this moment and that pulses out and around you, just noticing and bringing to mind once more what the rainbow means for you. Is it community? Inclusion? Safety? Could it be identity or freedom? Hope or journeys? Wealth or possibility? Just noticing your own experience. Inviting a sense of wonder, maybe even serendipity. For some, the rainbow might even connect with a certain movie that shall not be named. And that moment of black and white turning into color, the vibrance. Not only the land of Oz, but what happens afterwards? What's beyond Oz? So we look not only at our goals, at our intention, at fruition, but how we step past that. Maybe if rainbows mean community, how do you create community for others? How do you show up in your fullness so others can show up in theirs? Maybe rainbows are connected with ancestral gifts or promises kept. What can you do then in this moment to be a good ancestor, to live up to your word? Bringing these ideas to life so they aren't empty words, they aren't concepts, but you embody them fully, wholly in this present moment. The swirling and movement of your magic within you that flows through you, the brightness. And perhaps there's a sense of lightness to your being, a sense of expansion. Or maybe even a sense of being tethered, of being connected in a way that is so beautiful. Remembering that you are not alone, now or never. Sometimes rainbows remind us that the storm is past, 
But most of the time, rainbows exist when the droplets are still present. So it's not just the releasing of the storm, but the integration of the rain and the light behind it. Remembering that even in sorrow, even in pain or hardship, our light is still pervasive. We still get to shine. So just notice what's shining within you. What else is present? Even in puddles of water, there can be a beautiful reflection. Sitting with this in this moment. Taking a few nourishing breaths in whatever way honors your experience. Once more, coming back to that heart center. And just noticing present now as the heart began to blossom and open up as the vibrant colors that are present within the heart begin to move in waves throughout you just noticing Sometimes we even can think of ancestors and associate different colors with them, with their energies or elements. So remembering each aspect of this precious rainbow honors your experience and your divine gifts. Once more, we want to scan into what's present for you the emotions and the sensations. Any thoughts and any sense of wonder. And perhaps as you bring rainbows to mind, there's a sense of movement, of dancing, of music flowing through you. Honoring that too. When you're ready, Bring your awareness into the room around you. Noticing physical sensations and textures against the skin. Smells and tastes. Sounds. Light. Color. Temperature. Even the space you take up in the room. Maybe notice if in this practice that's expanded a little bit. If you've given yourself permission to take up a little bit more space, unapologetically, just noticing. As you move through this practice, as you get ready to step into the world around you, that urge to snuff the candle to dim the light might be strong again. And just remember that you can choose to shine. It's not something you have to do. You just have to turn the dimmer off. And the light gets to do what it wants to anyway. When you're ready, Stretch and take up space. Breathing into the face. Tightening or releasing anything that needs to in this moment. And get ready to walk into the world in fullness. In integrity. Being every bit of who you are. In your own time, let the eyes blink open, blending the inner world and the outer world. And so it is, y'all, this midriff.